What's up guys, Garrett with self.dev. We're back to another LinkedIn assessment for you. I've got an SQL expert here, supposedly, but she works into it and she does SQL stuff. So we're gonna do an SQL assessment and see how we do. It's the transact SQL assessment. I've never, I don't know what this is really. I just know the SQL part, kind of. I know like select star from table if blank equals blank. So probably gonna fail this. This is for informational purposes only. You're probably gonna get different questions when you do the assessment, but we're gonna give it a shot and see how we do. So let's do it. All right, the result of a cross join between a table with four rows and one with five rows will give a result with blank rows. I'm gonna go with 1024 rows because you multiply five by four and then divide by point. I'm just fucking with you. Do you know the answer to that? I think it's I 20. Say, really? Why? If it was like a Cartesian join and Cartesian joins are like where it has to multiply by everything, uh -huh. I would say it'd be a huge ridiculous number like 10, 24, but you I think it's You actually do kind of know this shit, huh? A little bit. All right, so why is it not four? Why what, is wait, it what's not a cross four? join? That's what I meant to say. What is a cross join? A cross join is like an inner join mm -hmm. and it's kind of like, hey, we've got these two tables and we have something in common. Can we link them up and see how many records we have when we make them the cross? In, yeah, the in common records make them talk to each other. All right, so we're gonna go with 20. All right, you need to find all the students that are not in the chemistry cats team. Which query does not work for this task? All right, so select blank. We need to find all students that are not in chemistry cats. Okay, select blank from students where team not chemistry cats. It's this one. A lot of them are. So it's not equals to, so there are a lot of ways to do not equals to. Uh -huh. Not equals to can be the word not. It can be the um, the two. The two. These two arrows. B. Yep. And so you're it, saying there's multiple right answers, and this is a trick question, and LinkedIn fucked up. No, it says oh. find all students. Which query does not work for this task? Ah, okay, gotcha. So okay, it's wait, not wait. that one. It's this one. So hold on. So two of these are absolutely right. I know off the top of my head, which are the two not equals to syntaxes. So these two, right? No, it's- uh, You it's, can use the mouse and point out which ones you're talking about, because I'm not really sure. So B and C, I know mean not equal to. So these two arrows pointing away from each other is not equal to, and this is not equal to. We have 15 seconds, so which one's the right answer? Uh, not chemistry cats, we're not I'm gonna go with D, because yeah. that looks right. English is right. hard. Right? Yeah. You gonna read the question? How many bytes of storage does the int data type consume? I think it consumes eight. I have no idea. I but like. we're gonna go with eight because eight's binary. Yes. You need to modify an existing student's table to add a field for middle name. Which command accomplishes this task? Okay. So if you are going to, uh, if you basically have DBA rights and you have the rights to actually modify the tables, you get to use some more fancy words than like I would. Um, so it's insert, because this is not a previously uh, added column. So and the other words would update, like if it had a previously added column, then you could use those? So like alter, alter update. So alter table, um, I've actually never seen alter table. Uh, update students to add, oh no, I'm wrong. Because this column does not currently exist, that C is not an option. Update table students and middle name. I think it's update because it's existing, so you're updating one. Insert would create a new table or row or whatever. It did create a new thing, and we just want to update the existing one. But because it's not an existing column, the word insert has to be in there, which is why I automatically went here. Okay, so basically, alter, Table students insert, alter table students insert, add middle. It's either it's A or one. D because it's using altered table and that's like a test taking thing. So which one of those do you think it is? A? All right, I think cool. It's a. We got four seconds. So we're going to go with A. Boom. All right. A new employee has been hired. Given the information shown below, which SQL statement inserts the new employee into the employee table? Okay. I'm consult my SQL book while you talk about this. Okay. So a new employee has been hired. Basically, the employee number is uh, going to be the primary key. Primary keys like cannot be changed, they cannot be null. Um, so we are gonna be com completely creating a new person here. Insert into employee. It's gonna be this one. 
because you want to add a new record into an employee. You want to like list all this shit out for them. Yeah, that's basically it. So all these column names are here first and then you're creating a new record. So you want to go ahead and populate that record with all of this stuff here. Nice. All right, and next. Review the query below. What is the best response? Select first name, last name points from students where points equals greater than seven. Yep, you have to request every column name that you actually want, first name, last name, and everywhere that the record has above seven. So it's, so it's either C or D, right? C yeah. or D. So it's D, because the other one has seven in it, yeah. and it's not greater than or equal to. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because it's first name, last name, and this is email. Okay, it's D. You're so smart. You would like to have a record added to a table B every time a record is modified in table A, what techniques should you look into implementing? Okay, so you wanna do a trigger, which again, if you're a database administrator, you have all the power in the world to create and modify tables at your, your discretion. So you get to use fancy words like trigger. And so trigger is like when something happens, something else has to happen, and you basically tell SQL this is how it goes. Um, you should create a tra trigger on table A. No, you should create a, ta a trigger on table A because the modifications are happening to table A and so basically as soon as it happens, it says, hey, you gotta go talk to table B now. So, that's the rule. Nice. You need to remove all data from a table named orders. Which query completes the task in the least amount of time? Okay, so there are two things you have to know about deleting records. One is you can drop the entire table like it never existed, and two, you can clear it all out. So the table itself technically still exists, but it has no data. So it's gonna be, you need to remove all data. So it's not truncate, it's gonna be delete from orders, select star delete from orders. What does truncate do? Uh, truncate means it shortens it up. Mm -hmm. So for example, um, when you have dates, uh, sometimes the date will be like midnight, zero minutes, zero seconds. Mm -hmm. And if you just want it to come back like March 31st, you're like truncate that shit and you take the time out of it. You take the midnight out of it. Nice. Delete a star from orders, delete table. I actually think we are gonna go with truncate table orders. Delete star from orders. I've never seen delete star from orders. Can they delete everything? Well, it would delete all the records. So maybe not. So star is like all the records. Star means all records. Delete from orders. I'm gonna try to remove all the data. So we're gonna go with that. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. What does a right join ensure? Okay, so a right join, which is different from like a, a left join, join, which is different from a left join and different from an inner join, is like you have one table and you want, you know that you want to keep all the records from that first table. Mm -hmm. And then you have a second table and you're like, okay, anything that is in the second table that is also in the first table, I would like to see. So you get all of one and then some of the others which connect. All right, what does a, that the records from the rightmost table will be displayed on, nope, only if the, that no records, no, that all records from the rightmost table are represented in the result, even if there are no, co yep, even if there are no corresponding records in the left table. So. It's the longest answer, boom. What I would have gone with if I didn't have you here, so. <laughs> the keywords and in, like, and between all be belong to a category called what? They belong to, those are not, things. They're not logical operators, so logical operators are like not equals to and count and sum and distinct. Joining operators are not those either. Criteria, linking. criteria. Yeah, they'll be criteria. Um, so. Easy question, boom. Which statement deletes a table named inventory from the products database? Okay, so we're completely dropping the table. Use products drop table, all right. Drop tables in each of these. Okay, so products is the database name. So whenever you have a database name and you have a table name, it's gonna be the database or the schema dot the table. Um, so it's specifying which table in which schema. So we are gonna say drop table products inventory here. So database table 
drop table inventory. So you want to drop the whole thing like it never existed. All right, deal. Which is the right query to change the name of the philosophy pandas team to the philosophy parrots? Okay, so here you're gonna be switching out basically a bunch of information. So you're gonna say update. Update student, student set team equals where, oh, okay. So it's, it's not ever double quotes. It's always single quotation marks. And because the philosophy Paris and the philosophy pandas are just names, mm -hmm. um, they are like strings. So you have to do everything in strings. Given these two tables, which query generates a listing showing student names and the department office location where you could reach them? Okay, so you want to return very specific columns. Is it asking you to do, oh yeah, it's asking you to do a join. Okay, so it's asking you to do a join from these two tables, which generates a list showing student names. So you wanna pull student names from one table and the office location from the other. So you have to figure out what it's joined on. And I would say it's probably joined on ID. Select student's first name and last name and department office from students join departments. Probably have to, yeah. Um, students join departments on student department. Yeah, that's not gonna be the criteria because that repeats. You can only do linking fields or you should only do linking fields on primary keys, which don't repeat or don't have null values. Uh, you wanna return that from students on department equals nope. First name, last name, department from students join. Departments on students. I don't know. But we're gonna go with B because that's usually the right answer if you don't know. Yep. Right, boom. Mm -hmm. What is an example of a DDL command in SQL? DDL means... Delete, drop, leave. Um, so I'm gonna go with A. I'm gonna go with B. All right. Uh, so I think B is like where you, um, I don't know why, I just feel like it's not deleting something. Which option will not create a valid SQL comment? Okay, so comments, you can do comments a couple different ways. If you're gonna have comments that go over multiple lines, you wanna do the slash with the star and then the the star and then the slash to finish it. So A is correct. If you're gonna do, uh, if you're gonna comment out line by line, you can use uh, two dashes to do that. And this is correct. Uh, this is, that's nonsense. That spans multiple lines, comment that spans. Yeah, this is nonsense. You have to, if you can only do this once per line. You didn't pass. Dang. Oh well. Private. Hmm. I don't want it to be I'm private. So I want to know what questions I got wrong. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. I fail almost all these too. So, hope this helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or if you know what the right answers were. Leave those in the comments below too so other people can see what the right answers were. I do resume reviews if you need your resume reviewed or anything like that. I've got a Discord if you want to come hang out in the Discord and talk tech. And I think that's it. So, I'll see you next time. Peace.